Hello everyone, welcome to another Reaper blog video. Today we're looking at a assortment of doubler effects for vocals. I just found out about Isotope's free vocal doubler plugin. Uh, I wanted to give it a try and compare it to some of the other plugins that I use and some of the other stuff that's out there. This vocal doubler plugin is free. It's available now. There's a link in the description. They're not sponsoring this video. I've paid for Ubermod and Soundtoys Microshift. Um, but the other plugins here, this one here is running in demo. This one's free and this one is free. Here's what I've got set up. I've got a vocal with a uh, just a de-esser on it. Um, it's going post fader to this other track for the doubling plugins, which will all be 100% wet. So you're only hearing the output of the effect, not a wet dry mix or anything like that. 100% wet. And it's coming out at Unity Gain, which is about where I would put it for this type of effect. And I just turned down the um, output of that track slightly. So uh, this track's at minus four. So here's the vocal without the effects active. Looking back on the past four years, I never saw myself right here. I'm always wanting to disappear. I'm always wanting to disappear. Oh. First up is the vocal doubler from Isotope. I'm going to turn it on. I've got this set to about 50% separation and width, and I'll show you the uh, controls in a second. Looking back on the past four years, I never saw myself right here. I'm always wanting to disappear. I'm always wanting to disappear. Of all the places that I could go, I'm boarding up all of my damn windows. So disappointed, consumed by fear. I'm always wanting to disappear. So it has a pretty good sound, and it's easy to control. You just drag the controls around, just towards the center to change the separation and up or down to change the amount of variation. So that's kind of the amount of doubling, delay, the amount of pitch change and things like that. Pretty good sound overall. And I would use, I would definitely use this probably around 50% and maybe blend it in a little bit lower uh, depending on how audible it is in the full mix. So that's vocal doubler. And next up is CMX from Stillwell. I've got this uh, basically on the default setting, uh, but it's at 100% wet. So we got minus 10 cents pitch variation on the left, plus 10 on the right, 7 milliseconds delay on the left, and 15 milliseconds delay on the right. The width control is all the way up, and the color is in about the middle. Looking back on the past four years, I never saw myself right here. I'm always wanting to disappear. I'm always wanting to disappear. Of all the places that I could go, I'm boarding up all of my damn windows. So disappointed, consumed by fear. I'm always wanting to disappear. I find that this one is a bit of a struggle to actually get it to sound audible. Um, I don't, I'm not sure exactly why that is, but anytime I use it, I'm a little bit disappointed. It either sounds too swirly or it sounds too sort of robotic um, compared to what I'm used to with some of the other plugins. Um, it does cost $50 for the full version. So or, uh, there's actually a discounted version for Reaper users. It's only $30. But if you like the sound of this, um, check out the demo. The pitch variation goes plus or minus 100 cents and uh, up to 100 milliseconds of delay. So there's a lot of variety in the sounds you can get, um, but overall it's not my favorite. Let's just, uh, let's put these controls kind of straight up. So about 50 milliseconds, a little bit less on the right or on the left. Um, and change the pitch. Let's listen to this one more time. Looking back on the past four years, I never saw myself right here. I'm always wanting to disappear. I'm always wanting to disappear. Of all the places that I could go, I'm boarding up all of my damn windows. So disappointed, consumed by fear. I'm always wanting to disappear. So it's an interesting effect. It sounds a little bit different than the others. Um, but as I said, it's not my favorite. Up next, we have Multiply from Akon Digital. 
This one's a free plugin, and unlike the others, this one has a full EQ. So you have high pass and low pass filters, plus um, two shelving filters, and you can change the uh, filter steepness with that as well. So this has a lot more options in the in the tonal shaping area. You also have separate options for frequency, amplitude, modulation, the number of voices, stereo spread, and uh, overall delay. So I'm going to put this on the vintage lead preset and just turn off the dry. Looking back on the past four years, I never saw myself right here. I'm always wanting to disappear. I'm always wanting to disappear. Of all the places that I could go, I'm boarding up all of my damn winds. So that's with only one voice. Let's bring this up to four. Looking back on the past four years, I never saw myself right here. I'm always wanting to disappear. I'm always wanting to disappear. Of all the places that I could go, I'm boarding up all of my damn windows. So, so this one's a little more subtle, um, a lot more control over it though, which is really nice, especially with that EQ. So I think it's worth giving a try considering it is free. Next up is one of my favorites. Sound Toys Micro Shift. These are basically the default settings here. There's three different modes. There's a focus control, which is essentially just a, a high pass filter. You can filter out uh, any of the lows from the shifted signal. And the amount of detuning and the amount of delay here. I've just got these on kind of the default settings in the middle. So here's uh, style one. Looking back on the past four years, I never saw myself right here. I'm always wanting to disappear. Style two. I'm always wanting to disappear. Of all the places that I could go. Style three. I'm up all of my damn windows. So disappointed, consumed by fear. I'm always wanting to disappear. Style three is the most subtle. Style one is the one that I tend to use in any mix. And I'm using settings pretty similar to this, maybe like a little less detuning, maybe a little less delay. But it, it all depends on the song. This one's not free though, so um, probably only worth getting if you're getting the full Sound Toys bundle. Next up is Valhalla Ubermod, and I'm using the Overmod ADT preset. This plugin is capable of so much, limiting it to just uh, as a, a doubler is kind of missing out on a lot of stuff. If you want complete extreme control, this is the one. I often have this just in my mixing template for effects. So I'll have micro shift on one track and I'll have Uber mod. And depending on the track, I'll send those, I'll send signals into either of those plugins and be happy with the results. So here we go. Looking back on the past four years, I never saw myself right here. I'm always wanting to disappear. I'm always wanting to disappear. Of all the places that I could go, I'm boarding up all of my damn windows. So disappointed, consumed by fear. I'm always wanting to disappear. So that's just one preset. And what I notice most with this one is that there is an overall panning shift. It's very slow. Um, it panned across left to right pretty much once across the entire chorus here. But there's so many ways we can change the sound of this one. There's a there's a drive control. There's EQ. There's all these different um, algorithms which totally change how this will sound and how this will work. So that's a two tap chorus. We can put this on an eight tap. And we can change the width and we can change the amount of depth. Looking back on the past four years, I never saw myself right here. I'm always wanting to disappear. I'm always wanting to disappear. Of all the places that I could go, I'm boarding up all of my damn windows. So disappointed, consumed by fear. I'm always wanting to disappear. And as I said, this is a plugin that can do so much more than doubling. Um, things like delays. Looking back on the past four years, I never saw myself right here. Gated reverbs. I'm to disappear. I'm always wanting to disappear. Of all the places that I could go, I'm boarding up all of my damn windows. So disappointed, consumed by fear. I'm always wanting to disappear. So it's a delay, it's a doubler, it's a reverb, 
It can do all kinds of weird things. It's one of the weirdest modulation plugins out there, and I love it. Um, so if I had a recommendation, I'd say MicroShift is my favorite, uh, but because it's free and extremely usable, very easy to set up, this vocal doubler is probably going into my effects template as well. They all sound a little bit different, and I think it's up to personal taste and what you can afford. And if you already have that Sound Toys bundle, maybe you don't need this one, but probably worth checking out. And that's where I'll leave it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Join our Facebook group, Reaper Blog Community. Support the Reaper Blog through Patreon. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.